Hello guys, welcome to my new Genshin Impact video. Guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the new Hydro Archon, the new Archon, the Genshin Impact, new Archon, Furina's build. So I'm going to talk about mainly F2P build, but definitely I'm going to talk about uh, all the weapons, necessary weapons, including 5 shots and 4 shots weapon, the artifact sets, constellations, talents, everything related to Furina, the team, the comp compositions, everything. So stay tuned till the end guys. So guys, as you can see, I don't have Furina. Uh, I'm wishing on Furina. Let's see when I got the Furina. But I know about the build and my weapons and artifacts, everything is ready for Forina. So we are considering Shinkyu now for as Forina. Okay. So guys, Forina is totally based on the HP percentage. So max, max the HP you have on Forina, the better she's gonna perform on the field. She deals damage, she heals you and she gives you a lots of lots of buffs related to Hydro damage bonus and the attack percentage bonus. All the HP percentage she's gonna have, she's gonna convert those HP percentage into the attacks and then gonna deal the damage. So keep that in mind to have a maximum amount of HP on Furina so get the maximum out of the Furina. Move on to the weapon guys we have bunch of four stars weapon in the game that if you have those four stars weapon literally you don't need to go for the five stars weapon but if you want to still want to know about the five star weapons i already have created a separate video in which uh, i i included the top five five star weapons for forina if you want to know in depth you can go and check out that video Meanwhile guys, there's a bunch of weapons in the game for Forina. Starting with the oldest weapon in the game, it's the Festering Desire. It's the event, exclu ex event exclusive weapon uh, came when the Dragon Spine came into the game. So guys, this Festering Desire, till now, maximum of us uses on the uh, Bandit just for the energy recharge. But guys, there's time, it's time the time has come like uh, Furina is the best candidate for this weapon is having base attack of 545 percent energy and guys read the refinement ability it gives you the sk elemental skill damage bonus 32 percent and elemental skill crit rate by 12 percent it's very similar to what we have on Raiden's the catch catch also gives you burst damage 32 and burst crit and 12% and same energy same base attack we all know how strong is a catch but uh, Raiden is totally energy recharge build so having energy recharge on Raiden is insane but guys energy recharge on Furina is not bad uh, otherwise guys you always gonna need a tons of energy recharge on Furina also to get the elemental burst on the spam if you want to spam if you want to deploy elemental bus fast you have to have around around 180 170 energy recharge on Furina also keep that in mind like 150 energy recharge on Korea Furina is the bare minimum minimum of minimum you have to have 150 energy recharge on Furina in order to you know recharge the ultimate and spam the ultimate this having 45 uh, almost 46 percent energy recharge can solve your er problem so guys in my opinion this weapon is super super strong next we have the new battle pass weapon is the wolf fong it gives you high base attack loss of crit trade in the refinement also it gives you burst and elemental skill damage increase by 16 percent and when the elemental skill hits the opponent your crit rate also gonna increase your elemental uh, skill crit rate gonna increase by two percent and if you hit your elemental burst your elemental burst crit rate is increased by two percent this have a four max stacks and every stack has their separate duration that is 10 second so this gives you lots of crit rate lots of elemental burst and elemental skill damage bonus perfect weapon this is a new battle pass weapon called wolf fang uh, beside that guy we have two more weapon one is the craftable weapon one is the forgeable fountains forgeable weapon and second one is the pipe the 
uh, fishing weapon. You have to fish. You have to catch some fishes. You have to do some fishing in order to get that weapon. These are the two weapons. These two weapons are also very good. Especially the fishing weapon, the pipe. That weapon is actually insane and one of the num one of the best four-star weapon and F to be friendly weapon for 49. It's literally free in the game. You can get it by doing the fishing so these weapons these all four star weapons are deadliest weapon for furina if you have one of these weapon you literally don't need to go for the five star weapon but guys of course the signature weapon of furina that is in the game right now that is a super insane weapon in terms of five star and second weapon is the primordial jade carrier literally the beast weapon for Furina it gives you HP percentage by 20% and also scales you your attack bonus gives you attack bonuses on the basis of the wielder's max HP and yes guys you already building Furina's on the HP percentage this weapon also gives you 44 crit rate that is super super insane so signature weapon of Furina is super insane after that primordial jade cutter is the one of the best weapon after the signature weapon of Forina. Best. Okay, oh yeah, these are the four star and five star weapon that gonna work amazing on Forina. Let's talk about the artifact set. So guys, in terms of the artifact set, there's not much artifact for Forina. You can do the experiment, you can try a different thing, but in my opinion, the best artifact set and the only artifact set that's gonna be amazing on Forina. It's the, this artifact, the golden troop. Before that, we have the wander troop. Now we have the golden troop. So this weapon is, uh, sorry, this artifact is literally insane. I think this is made for Forina. It increases your elemental skill damage. Uh, one more thing, guys, the maximum amount of damage that Forina is going to deal is she's going to deal in the elemental skill. So if you focus more on elemental skill, the, your Forina will give more damage because maximum damage she's gonna deal she's gonna deal in elemental skill elemental bust is just for the bonuses damage bonuses and elemental skill is pure that gonna deal damage and it's the off off field ability that you can deploy the elemental skill and just switch to some any other character so in two piece this artifact set gives increased elemental damage bonus by 20 percent in four piece gives extra increase elemental skill damage by 25% additional event when not on the field means the character that deploys elemental skill is not on the field elemental skill damage will be further increased by 25% this effect will be cleared two seconds after the taking the field means if the character takes the field after two seconds this effect will be cleared this way you are getting 70% elemental skill damage bonus like 70% is just insane so giving any other uh, artifact set to Furina is just not make any sense because this weapon this artifact says giving 70% damage bonus to your Furina's elemental skill that is just insane beside that if you still don't want to give this weapon to Furina you uh, this sorry this artifact said I don't know why I'm keep on saying uh, weapon you can go for the HP percentage sets the like this one you can give this two piece and other HP percent two piece artifact set or you can give this any any of the uh, HP percentage two piece and the golden troop two piece you can do things like that also but in my opinion giving golden troop four piece is the best choice for Furina. Okay, in terms of the main stride and sub stride feather, we are having HP, flower, we are having attack, sands, we are having HP percentage, goblet in goblet, we are having hydro damage bonus or HP percentage, and in circlet, we are having crit rate. If you are totally building your Furina as a F2P build, so crit rate is going to be one of the option and only option. Sorry, not one of the, it's the only option. Crit rate is going to be the only option for you. And if you're going to build your Furina not F2P friendly, you can give either of uh, the like from crit rate to crit damage according to your build, according to your need. 60% crit rate is going to be very important. Like minimum of minimum 60% crit rate you have to have on Furina and minimum of one. 50 or 160 crit damage is mandatory on Furina to enjoy Furina at fullest. 
in substrate we are finding crit 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 damage and hp percentage and energy recharge crit 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 damage hp percentage and energy recharge these four uh, these these four substrates going to be very important when you're grinding your artifact set keep that in mind in substrate you're gonna have the crit rate crit damage hp percentage and energy recharge Right guys, so I don't have Furina here, but C1 Furina and C2 Furina's constellation is literally broken. If you go for the C1 Furina, C1 constellation is literally game broken, and C2 constellation and C3 constellation even, it's just insane. It's same like Raiden. If you go for C1, then C2 and C3, Raiden just becomes broken character. Same goes with Furina. If you go for the C1, C2, and C3. Like C3 is one of the best constellation. See in C3, Furina just becomes beast, but C1 constellation is literally very worth. If you wanna go for one constellation and you have any uh, confusion, let's just go for the C1 constellation. C1 constellation of Furina is just amazing. In talents, guys, we are not upgrading the normal talents of Furina. Upgrading the normal talents of Furina is just a waste. First, maximize maximize your elemental scale. 10 elemental scale, then the elemental burst. Elemental scale is the most important. Maxima, maximize your elemental skill first, then the elemental burst. Double crown your Furina and forget about the normal attacks. To run out sooner or later. Okay, right, guys, so. Furina is a uh, like very flexible character. You can literally use her in any team, the Vaporize team, the Bloom team, the Hyper Bloom team, the Freeze team, all the reaction teams beside the all the like all the reaction team, literally the Freeze team, the Vaporize team, the Hyper Bloom team, the Bloom team, any team or solo hydro team, mono hydro team. Literally any team Furina is just fits perfect. Elemental skill duration is 30 seconds. So it can be it can support any character like character like Sino. Sino's elemental burst uh, duration is 18 seconds and no one matches the Suri Sino's elemental burst duration. But Furina is having elemental skill duration of 30 seconds literally is perfect for the Sino. But there's some character that you use with Furina, so you'll get amazing benefits first character is the gene gene is super strong with furina if you combine gene with furina you're going to have amazing re result chi chi also very good with furina bezu is also very good with furina kokumi is also very good with furina and bennett is also very good with furina Miko is very good with Furina. Raiden Shogun is very, very good with Furina. All the healers, especially, are very good with Furina. If you play a particular healer with your Furina, uh, she's gonna perform better on the field. Otherwise, if you wanna have support character in your team that provide a very good uh, hydro application, a very good hydro damage, or uh, providing you hydro damage bonus on attack buffs just Furina is just perfect character so there is no not a particular team for Furina that you can you have to have used but yeah there's some character that if you use with your Furina it, Furina works uh, like in her full potential I already told you Jean Chi Chi Sao maybe no not Sao where is where is it yeah this character Yao Yao and Bezu, Koko Mi, all the healers basically, all the all the good healers and shielders, and other character like Miko, Nahida, uh, Sino. You can use literally here. You can replace Yelen with Furina. Like consider Yelen for Furina as Furina now because I don't have Furina. So you can literally replace your Yelen with Furina and Sino's team and you can literally replace any Hydro character that you use before in the place of Yelen and Shinkyu, Mona and Furina works smoothly. Okay guys so that's it for the video that's all I have information and guidance for you about Furina. 
आई होप यू आर एंजॉइंग योर फूरीना फूरीना इज लिटरली बेस्ट कैरेक्टर इफ यू आर एफ टू पी प्लेयर एंड इफ यू वॉन गो फॉर फूरीना गो फॉर इट बॉस गो फॉर इट फूरीना एज आई एफ टू पी इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड यू डोट हैव टू थिंक टॉइस ओके आई सो दैट इज फॉर द वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो यू कैन हिट द लाइक बट एंड यू स्टिल हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन कमेंट बिलो we want to see more genshi related videos in the future so subscribe to my channel we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye take care